Hello everyone, I wanted to show off a tool that I made for Kinch. If you do not know what Kinch rankings are, then go to the description, I will leave something down there. So, basically to get started with this sheet, uh, if you go to the Start Here page, it has some instructions for getting going. Uh, basically, you'll come up here to File, if you're on desktop, make a copy, and then you'll name it something. So for our example, we'll name it Faz Kinch Sheet, and you'll see why in just a moment. So that'll load, and now you're good to go. So you'll go to your Kinch calculator and you'll put in your WCID. So for our example, we will use Felix Semdegs. His WCID is right here. You can paste it in right here. Um, and in this box right here, you need to manually enter your multi results. So over here, he has an 11 out of 11 in 4701. So we'll want to enter 11. 11, 47, and then 01. So that's, now that's gonna give us this. So this first column here is what I call event kinch. So that's basically your kinch score for each individual event. Uh, it is color coordinated, so the, the more green that your result is, the better it is. Uh, the more orange or yellow or red it is, the worse it is. And then down here is your total kinch score. And that's pretty much that column. Over here, are your events ranked? So Felix does not have a four blind or five blind average, so those are the worst. After that, it's like multi, five blind, single. Uh, also pretty straightforward. Over here, uh, basically you enter in a value that you want your kinch to rise by. So for example, Felix is 0.55 away from 58. So maybe it's his goal to get a uh, kinch score of 58. So we enter that and all these times uh, will pop up. So some of these are quite quick. You can see like a sub five average, um, sub 20, four by four average. Uh, but basically he doesn't need to get all of these. He just needs to get any one of these. So a clock average of 901, for example, would get him a Kinch score of 58. So let's roll with that. So if you copy this, uh, this brings us on to the next part of the sheet, this what if tab. So you'll see that uh, these two columns right here are pretty similar, uh, but then we have this new field. So we have a list of events, PRs, uh, WRs, and then a what if result. So for that what if result, uh, let's paste that clock average. So I'm gonna do Control Shift V on Windows to paste it without formatting. And now you can see that his Kinch score over here on the what if has gone up to 58. So if you go back to the calculator, everything here is the same. So this is like an imaginary scenario, a what if scenario. Um, so you can do this with other things too. Uh, so for example, maybe Felix has been practicing three by three a little bit. Uh, he feels really confident that he can get like a 525 average. Um, you enter that in, that raises up his kinch. Uh, Felix has also been working on his big blind a little bit. Uh, he's gonna get a, a three minute four blind single and He's going to get a better five blind single, uh, so those are going to go up a bit. And on here, his control reflect that. So that's pretty much it. Once you're done with this, uh, you can just select all those, delete it, and it'll go back to normal. Um, this value, you can adjust it. So if he wants to go up a full one point, um, that's fine. He's pretty good at most events. He is pretty well rounded. So maybe he wants to shoot for like a smaller goal, like a 0 0.01 increase. Uh, but that's basically the sheet. So. Not all, all of us have results in everything. So here's an example for a profile that only of someone that only competed in Magic. So they don't have any actual results currently. If you go back to the sheet and enter in the results, then you're gonna see that they have a kinch of zero. So even if you don't have results in some categories, uh, that's fine. Um, it'll just display them as zeros. You're still gonna have like the same functionalities on the sheet. Uh, you'll be able to test things out on here and see how things work. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. At this point, I'll just show you a few troubleshooting things that you might want to look into if you're having any issues. So first off, make sure you have a WCID and then make sure that you enter in some value for this over here. So let's put my WCID and then over here, uh, I want to put some amount of increase, basically. So let's like point two. Um, another big common issue is for multi-blind. 
Yeah, if you come right here, then you are gonna see there are four little cells that you can adjust. And you'll want to make sure that um, if you have a DNF or no result, that it's only a zero right here. If you have results, then make sure that these two cells are full. So for example, I have a five out of five in multi. Um, so these two cells both need to be filled. Like I can't just put five, that's gonna like break stuff. Um, as you can see, like right here is a good example. So five out of five right now, in order to increase by 0.2, I need a nine point multi. If I delete that, the sheet now doesn't have stuff to work with. So it's overestimating that by five points. So make sure that both of those are filled in if you have a success. And then the times are technically optional, um, but you should have one, I think my time was like a 26 or a 2501 or, or 04 or something like that. Um, but that's pretty much it. If you have any other issues with this sheet or you have any recommendations, feedback, um, you can just come over here to this email. And lastly, uh, as I update this, uh, this will be the link to the newest version. So you can occasionally come back here and just make a new copy and that will allow you to have the most up-to-date version that is bug-free and all of that. So if you, have, if you have any questions at all, any feedback, feel free to leave them in the comments of this video or to shoot me a, uh, an email. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye.